Hello there, everyone. It's the Antak here with Select Star Gaming, and welcome back to more Pokemon Shining Pearl. Things sound different because the DS sounds are still on. I figured, you know what? When well, we just got them at the end of the last episode, so we don't get to see a tiny teaser of them. So we're just going to do a, a whole episode with the DS sounds turned on, and then we'll go back to the regular music afterwards. So, we're here in Eterna City, and we want to go back to the Eterna Forest, and specifically to the old Chateau. Because we couldn't do much there before, but now that we've beaten the game and we have the National Decks, there's something new here for us. And oh, look at that! It's Gardenia! Hiya! Were you intrigued by the rumors going around here too? You know, people have been talking about the ghost Pokemon of the old Chateau. I've been hearing rumors about sinister shadows too. I should check it out myself, but going in there is... Hmm. Well, you know, being that I'm a gym leader, I'm <laughs> always busy. So, since I'm so busy, I can't go in. It's not because I'm scared or anything. So, good luck with your investigation. Uh, be sure to report back. Uh, I'll be at my gym. Bye! Bye, Gardenia. Scary cat. Actually, I just realized I want I don't want to have um, uh, Pennywise in the lead. Let's put Lop in the lead because we're talking about ghosts. There's gonna be more than just the gases that were here before. There's something special now. Not in this room though. There are still the regular gas fees, though. Alright, Lop. Uh, what, what loot bounce we're gonna have to do? Actually, no, let's do Iron Tail. But Dig is super effective, but it has Levitate. Alright, both of our moves missed. That's great. I mean, I'm glad they're used to Hypnosis missed, but I would like Iron Tail to hit. Perfect. Oh, why did I even bother fighting? It's a level 12. Jesus. Alright, I think it's... Is it this room? No. It's gonna be two rooms to the left from here. Here it is. Oh, nope. I don't want to do that. I want to save, actually, before we uh, touch this TV. Which has been turned on and is all staticky. Inside the TV, there appears to be a Pokemon. The Pokemon looks like it could come out. Would you like to thump the TV? Thump. You thump the TV set. Translation? Seven days. For some reason, Rotom here gets legendary Pokemon music. It's not a legendary. People got that mistaken for many years. This is not a legendary Pokemon. Maybe it was originally supposed to be, but it is not one. It is only level 15 though, so pretty much anything we do will kill it. I don't want to do that, so let's just throw a Premier Ball. Ah, I should have thrown a Quick Ball. Yeah, it'll be fine. Shite. So Rotom is a ghost electric type. Oh god, it's using double team. Let's go for a great ball then. Actually, I should throw a dusk ball next. Since it is nighttime. Thundershock? That did so little damage to me. It only only three. I right, you just Lop, you just hang out there. We're gonna throw a dark ball. Where do I get more dust balls? I checked in Eternity City before the episode started. I was like, they don't have any here. I was like, oh. Okay. Oh, okay. It's listen, Rotom, you are level 15. I don't want to attack you because I'll end up killing you. A crit did four damage. While a normal did three. This guy. 
Ooh, it shook. Did a special shake. A critical capture. The plasma Pokemon. Its body is composed of plasma. It is known to infiltrate electronic devices and wreak havoc. Well, I mean, it's a ghostly creature. It came out of a TV to try and kill us. Obviously, there's only one appropriate name here. Sadako. It's the girl from the ring. Alright, into the box you go. Oh, something is on the ground. The secret key! Uh, I'm trying to remember where that goes. I think it's in Veilstone. That sounds right. We're gonna go to Veilstone City next. Maybe we can also buy Dusk Balls there. That'd be nice. Alright, is it Gardenia here? I wonder if she would be- okay, she's not here. Screw it. I don't know if she'll acknowledge it if we go to uh, her gym. So I'm not even gonna bother. Uh, there's Veil Snow. Okay, we're gonna stop by the department store first, get more dusk balls. Then we need to go to the Galactic HQ. Is this the department store? Yeah. Server, so you knew you. I wanted to know what was on each floor. Will you tell me? You don't tell me shit. Okay, here we go. Okay, so since she didn't have them, it's probably the other lady. She'll probably have the special Pokeballs. Or... No? Just more healing shit? What? What? Insanity. Second floor battle collection? Me and me. If not, I will just use the internet and find out for myself. Actually, I'm finding out right now. Orberg City. Oh, no, wait, no, no, no. The shops. Okay, so yeah, it's not going to be here. in a different town. We'll go there later. I know where to go at least. So instead, to the Galactic HQ. Because we gotta use this special key. Should, is it, actually, I don't think it's the HQ itself. It's actually the um, the warehouse. Isn't it? I didn't see. Where the F do I use the galactic key? I thought it was here. Oh wait, maybe it's the door over here. No, that's the box. That is not a door. My god, I should have looked this up. Galactic warehouse. Wait, no, wait. Hold on. What was this key called? I thought it was the galactic key. Secret key! I'm dumb. It's like, this, the description of this item I'm seeing on the wiki does not sound correct. Team Galactic Eterna... Oh, it's also an Eterna City. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is, uh, Xanotalk not knowing what the fuck he's doing. You know, just fine. No, nothing, nothing wrong here. It's all, it's all okay. I promise. Alright, well then where is their building? Here it is. This doesn't seem correct. If 
Funny how their building is now completely empty, though. So as you can see, this episode is uh, how not to do things. Because I am failing hardcore. I'm looking on the ground floor of the Team Galactic Eternal building. Oh, wait, it's hidden? You used the secret key! Here it is. Found it. It's the entrance to a secret room! This is not where I remember it being in the past. But here we have some odd red electronics. It's a refrigerator. It's an odd shaped motor on it. A washing machine. A lawnmower. A fan. And a microwave oven. All of them have motors for some strange reason. Let's read this book. There's a mysterious notebook here. Its age is impossible to tell. It was by pure chance that I obtained information about the Pokemon Rotom. Remarkably, Rotom was able to merge with special motors. Rotom can thereby enter various home appliances and change its form. They have confirmed that Rotom changes its types and the moves it can learn by reflecting the characteristics of any home appliance it enters. This Pokemon requires exhaustive observation and analysis. To ensure I get all the credit, my Rotom research must be kept secret. They will come to recognize me as a scientific genius. Care. The rest of the notebook is blank. So that is referring to the character Charon, who uh, is in Pokemon Platinum as one of the, as the fourth admin of Team Galactic alongside Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. And I believe, if I remember correctly, it's also implied that uh, the old chateau is his old family home. So let's get Sadako into our party here and let's pick the lawnmower. Oh, Rotom appears if it wants to go into the motor. Will you allow Rotom into the motor? Yeah. Sadako is trying to learn Leaf Storm. Sadako can't learn more than four moves. Do I get to forget a move to make room for Leaf Storm? Hell yeah. It's gonna lose double team. So you see how Sadako is an electric ghost type right now? We obtained the Rotom catalog. Put the Rotom catalog in your bag, ski items pocket. Lawnmower has been added to the Rotom catalog. Oh, hi, Rowan. Oh, imagine finding you here. You must be eager to fill your Pokedex and be searching even here. What am I doing? Oh, I visit a professor I know in Eterna every so often. He tells me intriguing rumors of rare Pokemon sightings and such. How'd you find this room? A Pokemon that slips into electric appliances, you say? Hmm. There's something off from what I've heard about it. This is what I've heard. Long ago, there's a Pokemon that merged with a toy robot. Should that Pokemon be recognized as a new species? Or not? The debates over the issue were about to start when they were rendered moot. The great topic of discussion, the Pokemon infused robot, Disappeared. What? Alright, so now let's activate the wash machine. Wash machine is actually a catalog, so all these ones are disappearing. And there's a reason for this. In the original game, they did not. They stayed here, and every time you wanted to change your Rotom's form, you had to come back here and uh, select what item you wanted Rotom to inhabit. But now, as of Generation 8, maybe it was Generation 7, they added a new key item, the Rotom Catalog, which we can open, select Rotom, and we can change what we want it to be. Light bulb being the default form, and then the rest of these being the, uh, the moves, the different ones. So now we can pick Refrigerator, and look, it's uh, now going to be Rotom Frost form, or Rotom Frost, rather. So I could figure out overheat and learn blizzard instead. So that fifth, that move we taught him will change to whatever is the appropriate move for each of these forms, which is cool. So now they're electric ice type. Fun. In the original Gen 4 games, uh, Rotom's typing did not change. I believe it was Gen 5 where they made it so that each of the forms actually changed type for Rotom. 
Back in the original, every form was Electric Ghost. But now that we got the show off of that, let's go to our next location. Oh no! Tiny trees! Alright, we want to go to... Heart Home. So we're going to go back to the Trophy Garden now. Because uh, we went there earlier in the game, but none of the special fun Pokemon were there for Mr. Backlog's uh, Trophy Garden. And now that we've beaten the game, we have the National Dex. They're there. So let's get over there. I also need to see, shoot, where was the uh, Dusk Balls? I feel like it wasn't, was it Heart Home? No, Heart Home, it's not in Heart Home, it's fine then. Actually, I think the next place I want to go to will have them. Or somewhere close enough. It's fine, we'll get there. Oh my god, the tr the bike! Oh, we never fought this guy? I was just wondering when Pokemon would have a chance to battle tonight. God damn it. Police officer, Alex. Hey, sir, please do not shine that light in my face. I'm right here. Thank you. You're sending out a hoot hoot. It's going to get murdered by Lop. Go on, Lop. Kill that owl. Get paralyzed. So please fight the paralysis for two... God damn it. All right, well, please fight for the process. Good, thank you. That's a dead owl. What are you going to send out next? Is it another owl? Is it a bigger owl? Is it a Growlithe? It won't be a Growlithe. It's... Oh, we broke out of paralysis. Good job. We're sending out Machop. Well, Lop is technically speaking weak to Machop, but with this big of a level difference, I don't fucking think so. Poor guy. No, no, no. Oh my god, there's another one. <sighs> Guys, see, I don't like the trainers, so it's like, oh, you can only fight them certain times a day. Because then we have this kind of shit happen, where we're coming back to this area, beating the game, and we're fighting level 14 hoop hoops. Why? It's such a dumb thing. I mean, they're trying to make, they're trying to show off ways that you can use, like, oh, hey, look, this is our uh, day-night cycle, and here are things that are different about the day and the night. It's like, okay, don't like it. Like, day-night cycle, cool. Having different um, Pokemon spawn rates, depending on the day or night, cool. Trainers that only value during certain times of the day, not cool. Detect. Oh, great. So you're going to live through this move. So this fight is going to take even longer. Fantastic. Please die, Meditite. Thank you. Good, okay, that one didn't battle me. We probably already had to do them earlier. And we just like avoided the others. Uh, Backlot is over here. Oh, hello, hello. Welcome to my opulent mansion. I've been always proud of my trophy garden, but to be able to brag about it even more, I've upgraded it. That means there are way more Pokemon you've never seen before, such as this Pokemon and that Pokemon. <laughs> There's a lot for me to be proud of inside and outside of this home. What well, makes me the most proud is my trophy garden in the back. Why bother traveling afar when Pokemon are attracted by my garden? They come to me. Well, doesn't that make you envious? You are envious, yes? Yes. Oh ho ho! I bet you are. I knew you would be. But I don't mind. I enjoy sharing my stories with you. 
So, when I go out into my prize garden, Pokemon come running to me. They sidle up, happy as they can be, all just to see me. Well, doesn't that make you envious? You are envious, yes? Yes. Oh, I bet you are. I knew you would be. But I don't mind. I enjoy sharing my stories with you. So, this is what happened this morning when I went into my trophy garden. I noticed a cute-eyed Jigglypuff, which joyously ran over to me. Oh, the Jigglypuff ran up and gave me a smooch on my cheek. Huh? Wait, Jigglypuff? Uh, Master, that, that Pokemon you mentioned, uh, it, uh, it, uh, it doesn't exist in the garden. What? What? What are you saying? I'm no blowhard. Listen, now I want you to go out there and go kidnap a bunch of giving puffs from some other place and put them into my garden right now. What? Uh, yes, master. Right away, sir. Oh, God. It's true, I tell you. No lies ever leave these lips. There really are cute Jigglypuff in my trophy garden. Honest truth. So every day he will tell us about a different Pokemon that has been added into his garden. Now, unlike things like the swarming, like with the swarm, like today is Lickitung and tomorrow won't be Lickitung. Tomorrow will be something else like a Nidoran or whatever the fuck. But yeah, the trophy garden, Pokemon lasts for two days. So Jigglypuff today, and then if I come back here tomorrow, he'll talk about another Pokemon like say maybe Pichu. And then it'll be both Jigglypuff and Pichu. But then on the third day, if I go back in here and he tells me it's, I don't know, Girafferick. I don't even know if Girafferick can be in the trophy garden. Probably not. But whatever the third thing he says is, that means Jigglypuff will be gone. It'll be just be Pichus and Girafferigs. So, now let me know that there is Jigglypuff out here. Let's go into the garden. Oh, hi, Kirkatoon. You're not a Jigglypuff. I do want to look up and see, like, um, what were the Pokemon in the Trophy Garden? Just so we can, uh, mention them all. Oh. Do some of them change between... Oh, there is some differences between Diamond and Pearl and Platinum. But actually, this is Pearl and Diamond, Shining Pearl, so we don't care about those. So, you could get... Clefairy, Jigglypuff, Meowth, Chansey, Eevee, Porygon, Cluffa, Igglybuff, Meryl, Azuril, Plusel, Minin, Castform, Bonsly, Mine Jr., and Happiny in the Trophy Garden. And no matter what Pokemon it is, they all have the same odds of appearing at a 5% chance. Uh, I don't know what other Pokemon gets their odds reduced in order to have the Trophy Garden Pokemon be added in. I, I have no idea. Uh, also, of interesting note, as in Gen 4 at least, the Trophy Garden is the first time where Eevee, Porygon, and Castworm could be caught as wild Pokemon. Before Gen 4, the Trophy Garden, they were only gift Pokemon only. Eevee was given as a gift in Celadon City, and I think also somewhere in Gen 2, and I'm not sure about Gen 3 actually, where the Castworm was a gift in Gen 3, and Porygon has been a gift only. Um, was it only the game corner? I think it might be only the game corner. For both Kanto and Johto. But then a hard gold soul silver you had to remove the game corner, so I'm not sure where it is in that game. Maybe there's some NPC that or actually no no, they had Voltorb flip in Hard Gold Soul Silver, so you could still probably get it through that method. Probably. Maybe. I don't know. It's been a while. I just want one Jigglypuff to show up. That's all I want. Can we get the 5% Jigglypuff and Cat? Nope, that's a Krikatoon. That is a Krikatoon. It has a 20% chance at night. And the Revelia, what we already thought, was a 30% chance. Oh, Pichu is actually always here. Hmm. The more common in the morning. 30% chance in the morning. Hey, there's the Jigglypuff. Alright. Let's 
not battle. Let's just for a premier ball. Ah, damn it. Because we would kill this Jacob Puff. It was what, level 16? Great ball. Oh, it's level 18. Ooh. It's a little bit stronger. But not really. Oh, damn it, Jigglypuff. I really don't want to throw a Dusk Ball at you. But I'm gonna have to. Actually, let's do an Ultra Ball. That should be good enough. Perfect. Alright, well, as is tradition, Jigglypuff's gonna have the same name Jigglypuff always has. Uh, because of a person we know named Zoe that likes Jigglypuff. So, once again, Zoe the Jigglypuff. We've been able to catch one in all four of our Pokemon LP, so that's great. The Balloon Pokemon! When it wavers its big round eyes, it begins singing a lullaby that makes everyone drowsy. But not the Pokemon. Just drowsy as in sleepy. Go to the box, Zoe. Alright, and that's it for the Trophy Garden. We are not going to come back here. Instead, we are flying to the Pokemon League. Wait, is that the one I want? No, I want this one. Because one of these is at the top of Victory Road, the other one is at the bottom of Victory Road. And we want to go to the top of Victory Road. For reasons. Reasons which are very important. Uh, first, we're buying more Dusk Balls. We only have 20. I would like quite a few more. Uh, 50 sounds fine. We don't necessarily need them for uh, Victory Road, but soon. Soon TM. Alright, well, we're going to go ahead and end things here, and the next time... Hey, remember that uh, hidden room in Victory Road that we couldn't go to, and that one guy was like, Hey, you can't be here until you're the champion? Yeah, we're doing that. So, it may be another cave. Maybe. We'll see how time goes. Anyways, we'll see you all then. Bye, everyone.